All right, welcome everybody. Today's video, we're gonna take a little canal tour. It's something I've been looking forward to for quite a while. We're gonna jump in one of these long tail boats and we're gonna go and we're gonna see some of the canals over here to the west of Bangkok and we're gonna go eventually to uh, Wat Pak Nam, which is the largest Buddha in uh, Bangkok. So I'm excited about this. So I found a little tour for 250 baht and we're gonna jump on this boat and see what we see. I'm looking forward to it. So uh, hopefully it'll be fun. So we're starting our little tour over here at a floating market and it's just to the west of Bangkok. And uh, we're going to jump on these long towels right here and uh, it should be like a four hour tour or so. So hopefully we'll see a lot of cool stuff here on the canals. And here is the boat that we're going to be taking. All right, so here we go. It's kind of a cool looking little aluminum boat that he has. So there's six people of us, six people other than the boat captain, the boat driver guy, on this tour. And this is the Lat Mion Floating Market. I've done a video from here before. I might stop here later on and uh, do another video from that market. It's a cool market. And you can see quite a bit of stuff along the the banks of this canal. This is all the floating market right over here. Some dogs fighting up there. <laughs> and the lady's paddling here. This is great. She's not wearing a hat, but they're selling. They have all their fresh produce and stuff. You can see he's got his little motor there. He's even got a light on the back. I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> you can see some of the houses here. So this is just a little uh, bend in the canal. There's another little tour boat. They don't have anybody yet. And you can see this is normal Thailand. You got all these people that just dump trash and stuff up over here. Looks like it was a spirit house at one time. And <laughs> lady going to the floating market. Yeah. So we've been getting tons and tons of rain. This canal is super, super high right now. You can see where it's kind of overflowing some of the banks back there. Another one of the boats going through. So they slow up to keep the wakes down whenever you pass another boat and then he'll punch it. Some of the houses down here along the canal. They have these little tiny uh, side canals that go up. You see people have like their boats and stuff on their front, like their back porch or they'll have them hanging up. They'll have like a little uh, rope hoist and they'll have them hanging up from a tree or something. It's quite cool out here along the canals. See, they got like a boat hanging up right there. And you can see just how high this canal is right now. Yeah, if we keep getting more of this heavy rain, this area is all going to flood back here again. Some more of their houses. Looks like they have some of the tour boats here. Got the laundry hanging up. And a little convenience store. Oh, they're selling like propane and oil and all of that. Looks like a little dinner boat. Have an old lady over here, she's selling some stuff. And there's like a little restaurant right here and some of the tour boats. This actually looks like another little uh, market of some kind. So we have a lady here. She's making up some kai jiao right in the boat. Some boys hanging out here. Yeah, this is Wat Safan 
floating market, which is the temple of the bridge, I think is what you would translate this over to. And it's pretty early. This thing isn't really opened up yet. They're just starting to get ready for the day. Here she has some of the little pork soup stuff. Looks actually pretty nice. She has some rice over there. She's uh, chopping up some of the pork. Looks almost like uh, some cow mudang, but a little different. Okay, so this is what I came over here to see. This is great. So you see the canal right here. So you order right here. She puts this stuff in this little basket. Torai? Okay, so it's uh, 15 baht, so put the money in the little basket, and then she pulls it across. And we're gonna get our Coke. She puts, takes the money, gets some change. And then you can see along the canal here, has some little boats and stuff tied off, and just goes up into the jungle. And here we go. This is great. And here comes our uh, Escola. Hurts. And uh, uh, cap on a cap. And we'll go back over to the market. Yeah, so this is a small little floating market, but it's pretty neat. Got the lady here with the vegetables and some of uh, the, the corn. Everybody comes over here, get some coffee, get some jope, and they start their day. Some little Thai sausages. Some more of the vegetables. Yeah, it looks like it's a little busier than actually whenever I came over here, whenever it was open. But it was during COVID when I came over, so it was pretty quiet. It's great. I love how they have uh, all the boats here. So they uh, paddle up and then they uh, sell their little restaurant stuff. There's some canom. So she's making up some of the little canom bobbin, the little coconut pancakes. These are quite nice. So you can get like a little box of it for uh, 20 baht. The pandaren leaf or the uh, the black rice. So we decided to get some of the canom bobbin right here. She makes it up in the wax paper with the uh, coconut leaf for 20 baht, so six pieces. Okay, so they have this old ordination hall here. And so you go inside. Looks like the monk will let us go in here and look around. Here we go. This is a nice old hall. It's like an Ayutthaya style. Oh, there's a guy coming in the back door even. So they'll open it up so everybody can come over here and start to make some merit for the day. Yeah, this is a nice little hall. Looks like it's an Ayutthaya style building. You got the monks and you got the places here for uh, the donations and stuff. Yeah, this is the Wat Safan. Looks like the monks will come over and they'll do some praying. Yeah, this is a pretty neat building. Let's look around this market a little bit more. We have 20 minutes at this stop and then we'll go to the next, the next uh, stop. Yeah, this is the temple building, the old ordination hall. Pretty neat, old, old Ayutthaya style, just out here amongst all the canals and stuff. Okay, so just like that, our 20 minutes is done here at this little floating market. It's pretty cool. It's a nice little floating market. It's not gigantic, but it's worth a look. And it's just cool because it's over here with the canals and everything. You got these little bridges and all the ladies selling their wares. So it's time to jump back on the boat. Back on the boat. They're building something here along the canal. Looks like uh, part of the temple that they have. They had the name up in Thai, but I couldn't read it. Yeah, these little canals are fantastic. I really like this. Thailand looks so much different from the canals than it does from the road. You can see, have some small little canals that go up. The trees just out here. It is so lush. Some of the houses, they have their motorcycle right out here on the little walking path. They got the birds, everything else. I'm surprised we haven't seen anybody fishing yet. The day is still early. It's a nice old wooden Thai style house. And then they have like a little place to sit and eat and stuff out there. 
They have some tables. A lot of the Thais, they cook outside. You can see there's the kitchen and the stuff. They cook outside because a lot of the Thai cooking has like some really strong smells. Another one of the boats. Seems like there's boats everywhere. These big tour boats anyway. We have some bananas. Okay, so this looks like our next stop here. Now this is a pretty neat little temple. This is stop number two. This has an old hall and then it has uh, some murals that are painted. Oh, this is kind of a different looking boat. Wat Gok, I think is what it's called. This is only accessible by these little boats unless you come down the little walking path. You can come, I rode my motorcycle over these little uh, little bridges and stuff. But it's pretty cool, the area. I love these houses built up on the stilts. Yeah, there's some murals painted in here, like uh, street art. Yeah, I've been at this temple before. This one is fantastic. And I uh, made a video from here. I came over here just to see the uh, street art murals. But this building here is really cool. We'll go in here and look at this, and then we'll go look at the murals. So here is this little hall. I really like how it's built with the, just the concrete exterior. And you can see they have uh, all the normal stuff in here. They sell the murals, paintings of the king when he was, uh, Rama 9 when he was a kid. The little reclining Buddha. And they got it painted this kind of off yellow with the red roof. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, so this is the main ordination hall at this temple. You can see it's that same kind of off yellow color. It's pretty neat. I like how they did the ordination stones here with these little miniature Khmer prong things. And then some more of the stones. And we'll look at the murals inside here. Yeah, we have 20 minutes at each of these stops. So far, I haven't seen anything that I haven't seen before, but this is worth a look anyway. So here is the hall. Now in here they put these murals up on the wall. This was a uh, like a French street artist that drew these. And it's different than anything you'll see around. And whenever I was over here looking at them last time, uh, I commented that uh, I don't know if they ran out of money or what. I still haven't been able to find anything about that. If they uh, ran out of money, that's why they stopped or if this was actually just how they envisioned it. But it's a uh, guy's name was like Neo 2, I believe. And you can see that's quite nice. And then the, uh, the main Buddha here. And uh, it looks like it should have some more behind on the wall, but there isn't any. You can see the motorcycle taxi going over the footbridge. Yeah, this boat here is one of those that sits in low in the water. It's kind of hard to see out. But you can still see around uh, the shoreline and stuff. I like the ones that are a little, uh, little flatter. And they don't have the big engine. Because this one is a little bit loud. But it is what it is. For 250 baht, this is a uh, this is great. So our next stop is going to be Wat Pak Nam, stop number three. You can see more of the houses. Yeah, there's some really, really nice places down here on the canal, and then there's some just shacks. The contrast in Thailand is always stark. Another temple here. This one looks interesting up up in the compound, another little footbridge. And some more of these big tour boats. Looks like a little Chinese shrine right here. A 
you can see they grow these here. This is a crop. So these, this is basically like a little farm right here. They grow these to sell, and then they catch the fish out of it also. A little kid out here. You can see some of the houses. That's an interesting green looking one. This is a nice little temple. I'm not sure what the name of it is. It's in Thai. Wat Kua Suan Pier. Wat Kua Suan. So the beautiful something. More of the houses. Long Bang Luang Floating Market. Here's another style of uh, tour boat. Well, I got a lady captain on that one. This is another temple over here. This is Wat Chulapani Pier. You can see some more of the houses. We got a lady going to the market. You can see she's got all of her wares in the boat and then another tour boat. Looks like we got a monk in the front and then some other people. Another you can see the street art and stuff that they painted. Bangkok Yai Canal and the Prasri Charan Canal. This is a Parasi Charan Pier. Here we go. This is what I was hoping to see. We're just coming up here for the Big Buddha, the Wat Praknam. And there's the head. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And as you can hear, the, maybe the lady in front of me, Yai Mak, which is like very big. People out here feeding the fish. Yeah, that's really cool. So here it is. Look at the size of that thing. Yeah, that is pretty neat. Yeah, this is Wat Pak Nam. And this is a fantastic temple. I've made a video from here. I'll have to post all the uh, comments, or down in the comments, I'll have to post a link to all the videos that I've made. From Wat Pak Nam, from the Wat Go. So this is the big Buddha at Wat Pak Nam. And it is fantastic. Yeah, I watched him build this over the years and it's pretty cool still to come over and see. And they're, uh, they've added this since I was here last time. And then they've, uh, they're, looks like they're going to do a ceremony or something over here. Now, there's quite a bit to this temple. We don't have enough time here today. There's only 20 minutes. But uh, I've been here before, so you can take a look at the video that I made from here if you would like. So we'll take a look in one of these buildings here. This one here is the one that has all the murals. And it has their main Buddha. So this hall is fantastic. So you have the goddess of the earth here, flooding the water, and then all the other stories of Buddhism all around. And the detail work that they painted in. And these are some of the famous temples that are across the bottom. Like hit this one here is uh, over in Saraburi. It has the Buddha footprint in it. And then here's Wadaroon which is pretty neat. And you can just see the detail that they've painted into all of these. I mean, that's fantastic. And then the, the door, it's all hand painted. They covered it in plastic to keep it from uh, getting destroyed. And then everything outside and around the base of this is all uh, marble. And they have the third door here. So this would have been like the royal entrance. And you can see the, the detail that they painted in. Yeah, it's fantastic. And then they have some of the, the old monks. Yeah, so this is the dimensions of that big Buddha. So it's uh, 69 meters high. And it's um, made of pure copper, three millimeters of thickness. It talks about how much it costs. There's some gold in it. And it was completed on June 19th, 2021. So it costs 608 million Thai baht. And right behind the Big Buddha, 
This moon drop right here has the Buddha relic. It's like got a little crystal thing inside of it. So this is the ground floor. There's uh, like a museum and stuff like that up here. So we'll go in and look really quick. On the second floor, this is the uh, museum. Has all kinds of old stuff. And nothing in here is in English, so you have to uh, look at the tie. On the third floor, they have this shrine. It's all behind glass, it's hard to see. They just have some of the old, uh, the old monk Buddha statues, stuff like that. So this guy up here, he's uh, touching up the paint. So you can see how he's painting it by hand and he's gonna paint the rest of it. That's a big job. Okay, so this is the fourth floor of the moon drop here at Wat Pak Nam. And this is the crystal pagoda. And it has kind of like a little dome. It's all painted with the scenes of the Buddha, stuff like that. And people come over here, they make merit, they meditate. They do all of that. And this is really, really neat looking. And it has like a relic inside of it. And this is kind of the most important part of this whole temple. And you can see these are like little naga all around the base of this. The little lotuses are the crystal. And that whole pagoda is crystal. Looks really cool with that green light. I don't know how it'll look on camera, but it's really, really cool in person. And this is the backside of the Buddha from that little moon drop. So 69 meters tall, <laughs> it's just colossal. And I believe that they made it like the pieces in China and then they shipped them over to here. And then you can look over that away is Bangkok. And this is near, this Wat Pak Nam is near the uh, MRT line. There's like Ta Pre and some other stations that aren't too far from here. So you could find it over here pretty easy. You could take the MRT and then uh, jump on a motorcycle taxi and they'll bring you right over here to this temple. This is definitely one thing if you're in Bangkok you want to come over and so one more look here at this big Buddha. Yeah this temple here is definitely worth your time. We don't have a whole lot of time so we only got, got to see a little bit of it but you can take a look at my uh, my video from Wat Praknam if you want to see like the whole temple. There's quite a bit to this place and he's in the seated posture. You can see his hands folded with the, the lotuses around the base. Yeah, this is really neat. And then they have the, the marble. And then they've, since I was here last, they built this moon drop and stuff right here. This is all new. You can see the marble around the base of this big Buddha. And this is the canal right outside of the temple. You can see how many fish are kind of jumping here. And a little bit of the community. And over here's the boat that we're on. He's ready to, ready to go. So these guys are on a little tour here. <laughs> and they're calling this the Rose Bowl. And you can see the head of the big Buddha sticking up. And then they have like a little Thai tour. They're over here feeding the fish. And you can see the Buddha's head. And then you can see the top of that moon drop right behind the Buddha. Yeah, that's really nice. And then this is part of Wat Prak Nam, part of the temple over here. And then another little canal goes down that way. Yeah, this whole area is just like honeycombed with canals and little foot bridges, everything else. All right, so we're gonna be on the boat for a whole like two minutes. So we crossed over the canal and right over here by Wat Prak Nam is uh, this temple. It's like Wat Pradu or something like that, I think is what he said the name was. Wat Pradu.